Storms on the way. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We have a wind advisory in effect for all of the Barrier Islands here, as well as Cape May County south of the canal from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturday. This is all part of our coastal storm as our low pressure system goes from Virginia off the Delmarva coast and into the north and east, bringing heavy rain and wind along with it to our area. Roadway flooding will be of highest concern tonight into Saturday morning, as well as areas of stream and creek flooding. It does look like coastal flooding will be very few and far between, and we are going to watch for some power outages with the wind. So here's our weekend scoop. We're pretty dry for this evening. That's good news. But then heavy rain comes overnight and lasts until Saturday morning. Now the rest of the weekend will be dry. However, it's going to be windy throughout the afternoon hours on Saturday and then breezy as we make our way into Sunday here. Let's take a look at our overnight. We see cloudy skies for 8 p.m. temperatures, pretty mild for a early December Friday evening, but rain starts between 10 p.m. to midnight and it's a windswept rain heavy at times as we go deeper into the overnight hours. Let's show you our future radar. You see that rain coming in. Now we're getting into Saturday morning. See that low pressure system going off into New England and you do have snow to talk about in Boston, Providence, Rhode Island, as well as Hartford. No snow for us here. We just have rain and a lot of it in some spots. So it's like KMA County will have the highest amount. Models have come down a little bit on the totals here. Still, though, over two inches will cause problems on some of the roadways, especially along the shore towns where it is very built up, as well as along streams and creeks here. Winds will be pretty light for the evening and into the first part of the overnight hours. But as we go to 10 a.m. on Saturday, Winds are going to be strong. These are sustained winds, 20 to 30 miles an hour. Gusts will be in the 40s along the shore. Gusts will be in the 30s on the mainland, but it's a northwest east, excuse me, northwesterly wind. And as a result, coastal flooding isn't really much to talk about here. We stay well below minor flood stage, which is where you're seeing those oranges at Atlantic City. High tide will be between 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Again, no coastal flooding expected except in a very few amount of locations. Winds continue to be from the northwest as we go into the afternoon Saturday. Sustained winds 15 to 25 miles an hour. We will have gusts up to 45 throughout the day on Saturday. As we said, morning rain will give way to sunshine for the afternoon. The afternoon will mostly be dry, but it is going to be windy and temperatures probably going to be during the 40s during this time. High temperatures will be during the morning hours here, and we will have code blues in effect for Ocean as well as Cumberland counties, not only Saturday, but all the way through Tuesday. Atlantic and Cape May County have not activated their code blues, but I have a feeling they will as we go into the day tomorrow. Let's take a look at our mid-level pattern. This is for Saturday morning. There's that low pressure system right off the coast. See some of those warmer colors here, but there's a lot of cold air to be dragged in around that counterclockwise spinning low pressure system. And this is what we have for our Sunday morning. High temperatures Sunday afternoon will be only in the low to mid 40s. That's about five degrees below average for this time of year. Again, we have that strong northwesterly wind. And look at our wind chills. This is during the afternoon on Sunday, only in the mid 30s here. And look at Cape May County. County and in Southern Cumberland County, just around 32 degrees. So winter jacket, as well as a scarf, maybe some gloves to get you through the day here. Let's take a look at our mainland seven day forecast brought to you by Frank Vincent windows, roofing, siding and doors. As we go into Sunday against a dry one, Monday into Tuesday, likely dry, but there is another coastal storm that we are watching. It should stay just offshore, but we are going to monitor it for you. And then as we go into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, temperatures on the rebound here and we are looking for dry weather. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'm going to keep you updated on the storm all weekend long on social media. You can subscribe to my newsletter, which comes out every day, even on the weekends in your inbox at the press of slash weather.